Okay, good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Market is higher. I'll go over that later. Uh, the stars means it really should hold that number or it's really gonna go to that number. If I put it in next to a target or a uh, support or resistance number, Robert. Um, OLLD, trades in five cent increments, that's good to know, but I don't think I'm doing it, but thank you, Koala Bear. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing this, and I'm trying to figure out exactly what we are doing because I want to do this, but it is a little squirrely here. I think we don't, I think we're not aggressive today. Which, you know, is fine. I think we wait a little bit. And I'm not saying we wait long, but I'm saying, I, you know, I'm not jumping on top of anything I don't think here into the open. <clears throat> this one a little more than I wanted it to. Uh, this would have been great if it actually would move, but it's not. So not enough volume here to even watch it. And this, I still like but I don't think we should be aggressive. OLED, you know, I can watch this in HPE, but I'm telling you that this is just gonna have a big stop and it has a huge target. I mean, I, I forget what I put in the room, 124 I said, 125. And that's really the target on this if it goes, <clears throat> but I, you know, this is, I don't think I don't think anything's gonna be easy today. What do you want me to say? I can lie to you and tell you everything looks easy today, but if we do do a short, we can get it. We got to get out early because I think the market's gonna plow higher today. But I don't know what time. It may do it this morning. It may not do it till after ten. Uh, but market is really higher, and it and, and when it goes, it, you know, if people are short the market. That's gonna have buying and then stop out shorts and things that are weak probably even back up. I didn't rate this then because I didn't like it that much. I'm going to watch this and I'm going to watch this and I don't think I'm doing this but you can watch this and this is looking a little bit better here now. I just don't see anything to be aggressive this morning. That's the point. It's the point in life where you realize when it's a good one. All right, it's, it's a tie. I just don't know. I, I, I'm either, and it's really bizarre world, but we're gonna watch a long and a short. Sorry, people. Uh, HP, I'm gonna have in the middle here. This would be a long, and EXAS e would be a short. And if you're just here for the trial, I would just relax today, because I don't think it's gonna be easy to follow me. I'm watching two things, and both are in the opposite directions, and that's. I want to try to get something today, so I'm doing it, but I don't think we're going to be aggressive, so it doesn't matter. We'll look at options later. I can't focus on that right now. It's too late for me to look at anything new, Sid. If these things don't work, I'll go look at your pick. <clears throat> don't be aggressive today. It's the best advice I can give you.
this is rolling over. Okay, E X A S, and it's it's just going to be a huge stop if it sets up. I'm not going to do this right here. I'm going to wait for a better entry. It's rolling over. If you want to take it, you could put the stop at 41.20. It's more than a buck. I'm not, I I didn't I didn't do it. It just broke. It's rolling over. I think the stop was too big. So if you could do this right here, it, it, I mean, at this point now, the stop's so big. You just do it if you want to put the stop at 41.20, 41.25. I did not do that trade. I didn't even call it in live time here. It's rolling over though. Yeah, it's really rolling over. I don't think I'm going to get it. I just, I just didn't want to do a dollar stop in that. So I may not get that. If you did it, if you did it, I'd take a quick exit. HPE stop is going to be 75. I'm going to watch this instead. This is a long 05 by 75 HPE in the hopes I get something here. And if that doesn't set up, I'll call something else because the EXAS already went. Oh wait, now that's off. Oh, we may not we may not get a trade today. Yeah. yeah. Not in a single solitary thing. This is backing up. I don't I just dropped too much here now. Man. I, I'm not in anything. I'm not in anything. If you did this, it was late and you kind of just had to scalp it. I did not. I'll watch it here. I could have taken it. I did not want to do it. I just thought the stop was way too big, but it just dropped a buck. So if you're in it, you're still in it, or you took it out. I'm, I'm continuing to watch this here, but I don't know if it goes back down again. That might have been the move. And this I was going to do, and now it just made a big tally thing and never hit over 05. I'm not in anything. I'll look at this other one. Keep giving me ideas. My mic is wobbling. Sorry about that. Nope. If this breaks 1750, this is off. And that was even more room than I wanted to give it anyways. It's 12 cents away from it. So, the market, <clears throat> the market's going to work today. The market's a good long. The market's a trade. I really didn't want to do that, though. Just give me ideas. I didn't do anything today. I decided not to do this because the stop was too big. It's backing up. I will stick on this. I think X, uh, HPE might not work in 10 cents. It's going to be a goner, meaning it won't be able to be bought today. This is way bigger of every stop than I ever thought it would be. And part of it is the spread. And I'm currently not in anything. And the market's along. The market's the best trade here, but I really didn't want to go long the market today. It's a day trade, but you could go long the market. I really did not want to do that, though. Give me ideas for any ticker symbols. I'm not in anything. And the only thing that hit was this. And if you did it, you really had to scalp out of it. Really didn't see the risk to reward in that size of a stop. The market's a good long today, but I really didn't want to do that as a day trade. It's going to go. If you want to go long the market, I'll give it to anybody that wants it. I'll tell you, just get in. Just get in and put the stop at 271.40 in the SPY. It's just going to, it has a huge, massive target. You could go long the SPY right now. You can go on the queues right now, too, and put the stop at 165.50, and I'm leaving these wide so you can stay in the play all day. It is an all-day play, and that's really the reason that I don't want to do this, I meaning you could be in the trade till 4 o'clock or close to 4 o'clock. It's an all-day play and big targets in the market. If you want to go long, all the market indices you can today. And, I, and two days ago, I called options and them. It was early, but they're all going to work, which I did say yesterday. I don't want to do that because I think it takes all day. Now let's go over here. I cannot believe this is going to be a dollar again. You can short this right here and put this stop at 4070. I'm passing. I'm not doing it. It's a buck 50. No, I'm not doing it. 
you want to get an EXAS, you can short it. The stop has to be 40. I would put it 4070 because of the spread. 4075. It's more than a dollar. That's crazy. I'm not doing it. I didn't do it the first time and I'm not going to do it the second time. I don't think it has a big enough target. Target's really 38. 39 and 38. Actually 39, which I did write in the room earlier. I'm passing. I passed on this twice, but it's working. You really got to scalp it though. The stop is way too big. I've called two trades in this and I haven't touched it. I just don't like it enough to do it, I guess, with that kind of widespread. It's going to work. I mean, it's worked already. I'm, I'm, I just, I'm, I'm passing. It's a personal preference there. Did HPE break? GIS? No. HPE. All right. We're back in business here, people. Here, do HPE 05 by 50. 05 by 50. Here, do it if you want it. It's going to hit. We still can get something here if you want to do it. It's a little bit wider than I thought, but this is going to be okay. Put the stop at 50 or wait till it hits 05. In fact, let's put it at 45 because I said 50. 45. Here, you could do it. HPE. Long. This is a long. And if you didn't do it, wait till it hits 05. I thought it was going to right there. This comes down again. It retests it. I'm going to take more. Man, this is wily. But it didn't break 1750, so it's okay. 1805, I'm already in it. I jumped the gun there. I thought it was going to hit. It was one penny away. 1805, if you didn't take it, you can do it. Stop. Put it at 1745. Give it a little bit of a cushion here. Here, here it's going to go. This is it. This is all that we got. I'm doing nothing else. The other one was just too big. This is a little wily. First target is just going to be 1850. And I think that it's better than nothing um, because the fact is that we might not have anything. And this did not go back down again. And this I don't want to do. And this, if you're in it, you're in it. In fact, we're just going to get a flurry up. The market is, uh, I think, going to hold today. But... It's, I don't know what time. And that's why I said if you do it, it's an all-day play. I wanted something quick this morning. EXAS did have a quick move, but I just thought the stop was too big. Did anyone do that? Did anyone do EXAS at all? First one, second one, anything? Here, HPE is going to work. Uh, you know, I just don't know where this goes. Market I just flipped and looked was a little bit red. But either way, plan of action here was a morning trading out. Here, HPE. Let's see, and maybe here. Da, 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 da. Here, push over 20. Really, 25 is the first number, but this was so wily today. Gypsy's in the second one. Dubod's did an in and out of the EXAS. That's good. I'm glad somebody got that. I just couldn't get motivated to do it. It's zero motivation with that kind of stop. Here, HPE. Let's take a look at it. Looks good. So this was the best gap, really. And I just, it, it ended up, the numbers ended up being very different than what I originally saw this morning. But I didn't say it was off. Unless it had broken that one area, which it did not. So we lucked out. Market's long. Market's long. And it looks like it's floundering around. I don't know if anyone went long in the market or not, but it, it, it's an all-day play. It's an all-day play, but I'm glad we didn't do it. And, and I'm actually glad we're in a long because I think that's the right thing to do here today. Um, and this, be very, very careful because really 39 was the target, which it went there immediately. And now I just don't know about this. And the stops are just so big. And this thing here, I just don't like. And this here. All right. 18, 19, 18, 19. Uh, this does not make big moves normally. Every move is like a baby move. I think we're going to have to watch over 20, over 25, over 30. 
It may have a place to take more here. I don't know. It's This is how this trades. You saw it this morning. You saw it in the pre-market. We've traded this before, so you know how this is. I don't think we need to give this any more room because I won't like it really under 50 anyway, so I'm keeping the stop at 45. So let's just get out of this in a flurry up and call it a day. It was a good week. Uh, you know, I just didn't want to do that EXAS with that kind of stuff. And if you're in this, be careful. And this, I just don't like. And what did this do? Wow, look at this. <gasps> HLF, no volume, and look at it. It was down. Actually, it looks like it touched 87.20. Oof. All right, HP, if it sets up again, we can take more and raise the stop, but not yet. And you really could have done this for a scalp. I mean, you could have scalped this today and scalped the XAS. That was part of the problem with the, with the gaps today. I just didn't see any reason to be aggressive. But I wanted to get a play. I don't know if the XAS follows through. That's the problem because that had a hard bounce off 39. That really, I feel, was the target. Let's see if this gives us a chance to take more or if not, whatever we have, we have. Market's going to struggle here until it starts to plow over. And again, I don't know what time that is. But it's definitely higher. And this here, two people are in this. You better watch it pushing back well, we could have done nothing today actually but I really felt that this was a good gap it's very jerky so if we do take more here I'm gonna pull up the stop and get out quick but I don't know yet. Okay, let's take more of our 18 and pull the stop up to 75. In fact, let's wait till over 18. And then pull the stop up to 75. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to. And if the numbers change, I'll give you different numbers. Or if you didn't do it, you could do that. 01 by 75. is going to go. Here, you can take more if you want. And you can put the stop up to 75 if you want to. And the reason I'm doing that is to get a flurry, flurry up. And let me just double check that that's what I want to do here. I'm going to give it 70. I'm going to put it at 70. And then that's it. One flurry up and I'm out. Time of the day is fine. Time of the day is good. And we have this, we have this, we have this, we have this, and we have this. Okay. So I really want this to hold this area here. 
I don't know if we should give it any more because I really said 75 and that's high size myself, but I don't want to get dinged out. Let's put it at 65, but I don't, I don't even think it's going to go down there. But just put it at 65 in case it does a tail. 17.65 is a stop. And if you're in the original one and want to keep it under 45, fine. If you took more, I think you got to pull it up, you know? Not doing anything else today, though, that's for sure. We could have done nothing today, which would have been fine. It's been a good week, but I do think this is a good gap. So the market is trying, it's trying very hard, and I do think today it does it, but I could not guarantee or say specifically the time of the day that the market would make the move. I think it's going to take all day. It's going to take as long as it takes. It could take till lunch. It could take till 11 o'clock. It could take as long as it's going to take. What happened with this thing here? Whoa, this is trying desperately to hold. 67. Wow. EXAS is trying to hold. Anybody need anything else? And what you could have done is you could have taken this here and got out, which I did not do, but you could have, and then retaken it. But, you know, I didn't know it was going to set up again. But you could have done that. I think today was a day to scalp anything at all because nothing was showing me to be aggressive, which was partly a sign. But this really is the best gap today. It is a bullish gap. EXAS, you know, was a fine gap. It rates fine, um, but it was close to the number, and I just felt that the stop was too big. The first trade there, that first move, was the best, though. I don't think anyone would have gotten filled the exact entry, though, because by the time I saw it and called it, it literally slammed right into the number. <laughs> Which can happen. If I felt that it had more room to go, I, I might have done it. And if this sets up again, I'll call it again. Let's set it to 30. And the 60. is going to set up again look how wily this is you can you can buy it when it hits over 18 again i think you got to have the stop at 65 you know i feel very confident 50 is going to hold but i took more so if i move the stop back to where i originally had it i really have more than one risk in the trade i don't know if i want to do that but i know this is going to work but the plan of action for a quick one here is not working out because it's 9:48. uh this be very careful people Here, HPE, let's pay attention now. Let's not let the week get away from us. Here, here, I'm just getting out of this anywhere where it pops over the high. Which I believe was 19. It's just too jerky. If we went to the number, it could hit it and then go two. So... So I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get out of this in a flurry up. You could have taken more there. Is there any news or anything that happened? Just let me check it quickly. I did see the market was a little red. Just want to check. Because I know there was no econ. No, there's nothing that I say. It's going to take all day. It's probably just going to take all day. Is anyone in anything else about anything whatsoever? Not options. Let's talk, let's talk about the day trades right now. And we can go over options when we're out of the day trades or trade. Um, does anyone want me to look at any other things for this morning for day trades? I really wasn't in love with any shorts, and I didn't expect that EXAS would move like that initially so fast, um, but it did. And if you did it, which some of you did, it, it, you, you made money. I mean, I think it even went one, one R. 
I didn't think it would do that that quick, but it did. Oh, LED. This is trying to drop and break. Very hard here, very tough. I, I just didn't like it. I didn't like the entry. The gap was fine. I rated the gap. I didn't like the entry. And if you did it and you're up, be careful here. I just didn't like where that went. Here, HPE, struggling with the number at 18. Let's find it. Once it really starts to lift over it, it's just going to go. But it is struggling with that number. Um, it keeps going over it, going over it, going over it. It opened at 1801. It needs to hold over it, hopefully before 10 o'clock. So this is where it's at. This is going to push through this today. It already did once. It's going to do it. It will close green with a bottoming tail, but I would prefer it to happen now rather than 3 o'clock this afternoon. But that's what's happening here with this. Uh, so Dubaz did OLED. Did anybody else? That worked. I did not like where it went. Here, HPE. Oh, let's check out Walmart. What did everybody do with Walmart? Who's holding this to the bigger number? Who got out of it two days ago or yesterday or the first day? I know some of you did. Galahad got out the first day. What is everybody doing with the Walmart option? Wow, this could fall off a of planet today. If we're still in it, looks great. I mean, you're going to get it under 90. I feel very confident about that if you're still in it, but you can't take a new trade here. Sorry. Too late. Here we go. Dubaz got out of Walmart yesterday. Aw. I thought you were going to hold it. Nine fifty three and HP looks amazing, except it's as slow as a snail. And HLF, I mean, I thought that this would do something right before nine thirty. It never did, and then it wasn't even gapping down. It gapped up. I mean, this this has trapped a lot of people. This is just, I mean, last night I think was when it gapped down. I mean, this is this looks like a death trap now today. I mean, don't don't anyone go long this. Don't go long it. Don't short it. it Looks like a death trap. I mean, just look at how the one minute chart traded. Still low volume, flipped in the gap. I mean, people are losing their shirts on that if they're trading it, because it's not doing anything that makes any sense at all. EXA, EXAS, yep, that, that was the number. Gypsy, did you only do the first move down? Or the, I mean, the second move down? Yep, I... First of all, I didn't think the stop should have been a buck. And then I, I had time to do the second trade and I didn't want to do it either. It bounced really hard off the target. We will review this when we're done. If some of you did the second trade, I, you know, you, you're stopped. I mean, I don't think it's going to work now. I mean, I just don't. And it, But, it, you know, you could do e HPE, which I call Gypsy. If you did that at EXAS, if you really had conviction in it and liked it um, and didn't have a problem with the stop, you have plenty of time to do this. I'm in it. It's good. So be in this one if you want it. You still, this is still right at the number. I just can't talk about anything too in depth here while this is still in play. But I will go look at that. I mean, that was so clear do 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 do. It was so clear to me that that was the target in EXAS. That that's why I think I double stop started. Um, here I did. I triple starred it. Here's what I put. What about Cisco options? I will look. Well, here, hold on. Let's just get through this push up here in the HP, and then I'll look at the options. I'll look at Cisco. Who? What else does everybody want me to look at of the options? I will look at Cisco. <clears throat> Leave EXAS alone. This is working here. EXP. All right, I'll look at that one. Let's make a list. And I'll look at the other one. I 
I could even call an option in this, but I'd want to, I'd wait, I would want to wait to see where it closes here today or it ends up being around lunch to look at that chart. But HPE is probably going to set up to do an option today. I didn't look at this yet, but I kind of want to see to look at the numbers for where to take it after it gets moving here a little bit, which it's trying. And so is the market. Market is higher. And it's very tricky here, but it's so, uh, there, I'm just going to talk. I can't have the chart up because i got to focus on this. But the, but the market itself, the way that I'm going to just, I'm going to talk words. So just listen to me. And if you want to have the market chart up while I'm talking, you can. I can't right now because i got to focus on this because it's too weird. But the thing is that the market, the best way I could explain it, if I was standing in front of a chart on national TV, I would point at the market and I would look at the last week and I would tell you this. The way that the market's traded seems that it's not moving higher yet. So there's, you could look at the market and say, well, Melissa, we look like we're lower because we haven't moved higher yet and we gapped down the other day and we... We were red and we fell into the close in the Fed minutes on Wednesday. Obviously today we have not closed yet, it's Friday. But the way that I read it is that this is a sign of strength this week, even though we've traded in a very tight range. Because if the market wanted to drop, which I said to Zen Trader uh, yesterday, Zen Trader, are you there? Target for the spy is 275.85 and beyond. It seems far away, but that is the target for the market today, over the high of February 5th. In fact, I have 100% conviction the market's going to have a very bullish week next week. No holidays, and no matter how we close today, I, I would be shocked if that doesn't happen, unless we have some massive gap down on Monday morning, then, you know, that would screw up the week, but all signs point to next week being bullish although i think today could be possibly very bullish and you could take a new trade in this here if you want an hpa you can still get in this for those of you that didn't do it are you l a o l e e d jasmine and dubods did it 130 wow if you did it great i'll go look at that but i did not like the way that's set up if it's at 130 it's probably gonna break 130. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, we was going back to talking about the market. If the market wanted to drop this week, it could have. It did not. So the way that the market is acting in the last week, okay, is actually, it's, it's, it's being supported with buying. Even though we don't have big fat green bars, although we did rally Wednesday, the market would not look like it does. If it does, if it was, it didn't have buying in it. So I don't want to get too, you know, overly complex here. But the point is that the market, if it wanted to drop, would have dropped. It's not dropping because it's getting bought. It's hard to see it because it's easier to see buying when it happens in a big fat green bar. A bum on the street could see that. But I'm telling you, the way that I know how to read price action, which is buying and selling, is that if we wanted to fall off a cliff, we would have this week. And we didn't. And the fact that we're holding means the market's getting bought. And it's going to take off like a rocket. <laughs> and, I don't, and that is really going to be over that number I told you. But it's going to take off like a rocket. And we could make another new high again before... Well, not before the end of this month, because February is almost up in three days. But before you know it, that's about all I can say. Because the market has a look to it that you could, you could construe as weak, but I'm telling you, it's not. I don't know if this makes any sense, but I can't show you a chart right now because I can't take my eye off this. The fact that we're not falling is only possible if the market's getting bought up, but it's happening in little squishy bars. And it's so it's not an easy read. Market's going to break out. It's a breakout play that's happening in an area after a big sell-off that's going to set up today, tomorrow. Could have happened yesterday. Could have happened Wednesday when I called some of those options trades. I thought it would. It was early. Could happen today. Could happen Monday. Could happen Tuesday. Could happen Wednesday. It's going to happen. The longer it takes to happen, though, quite frankly, the bigger the move it will make. Fast. Still going to make it. 
But if it takes another week for the market to do it, when it does, it will make a new high probably immediately after it gets over that February 5th bar, which I'm not saying it will right now, but I'm saying the faster the move that will be, the more powerful the move that will be. The longer it takes that we trade in this range, the more powerful the move it will be when it happens and the faster. So it's neither here nor there. We'll have to look at the dates for some of those trades, but I did give time in some of those ones, which I didn't really need to. Um, it's not an easy read. It's very, very tricky. When it happens, it will be amazing because it really was a, a, a tricky read, but I saw it on Wednesday, and actually I saw it on the Valentine's Day the week before, but I didn't call those trades until Wednesday. O-L-E-E-D, are you talking about, Jasmine? I just wouldn't have done this here. I wouldn't have done it at all, and does anyone want to know why? Yes, it worked. The gap rated well, and that's why it worked. But I wouldn't have done it. Does anyone want to know why? And this is over, and no one should go back into it. And this is becoming a snail. Does anyone want to know why I didn't wouldn't have done the OLD? And actually, I didn't even call it. We looked at it, I rated it. It's working. Um, why do you think I didn't do the OLED? Zen, I know you plan on retaking the class, but for those of you, just guess. I mean, I just can't put the chart up right now. Look at the chart yourself and write in the room. We can talk. I just don't want to miss this. It did go over the high, but we short stocks that go over the high all the time, Vincent. You're right, it did, but we do that all the time. Here, if you did not do this, by the way, it's setting up again. 50 times it's setting up, but hasn't gone yet, and we're waiting. You can take more over 10. I'm not going to do that because I already took more, and enough is enough, but 18.10, if you didn't do it or want to do it, it's confirmed and should go right up, and then I'm just going to take it out in a flurry because this is taking my whole morning up here. 10.03. Um, I did I put resistance levels for OLED? Oh, I did. I did put them. That is not the reason because I forgot I wrote it in the room, but it did go over the resistance. I said that's true, but that's not what I was thinking, but that is true. Oh, whatever happened to Equifax? That did that report or did that get here? Did Equifax report because it was supposed to report this week and then I don't even remember seeing it anywhere. Or did this get pushed back? It must have. No, this didn't report. Mm -mm, look at it. I don't think this did. That got pushed back again, I think. Here, let me look it up. Nobody said what I thought in OLED. Um, although some of you said true statements, it's not what I was thinking. EF. Okay. Nope, they pushed it back. March 1st unconfirmed because they could push it back again I guess because that was supposed to be this week it was too big of a stop but actually unlike EX I didn't think this was going to pay I didn't think this was going to pay in the first move I was wrong it did okay it just goes to show you but it went right down to the target so you should have gotten out if anyone did it which I think some of you did I didn't do it well, some of you didn't do it either, but I didn't think it was going to pay. This would have paid with a big stop. I said 124, 125 for this today. If it breaks 130, which it hasn't yet, it's going to go there. But bottom line is, though, that 
this was worth the big stop, which it was. I didn't like the way it set up, and so far no one said why. Although I, it was over the resistance, which is a true reason. That's not why I didn't like it. And this, we're going to fall asleep soon. <laughs> Let's look at Cisco. Let's look at, just look at some of the options. If that plows somewhere or I see it on my other screen, I'll just, I'll move over, but... I don't know. It could take another 15 minutes. Cisco option. Who's in it? Who's killed it? Who's doing what with this? Uh, looks fine. Looks fine. It broke the low, but not really. Uh, you know, again, these support and resistance are areas. If you did it, you're down. If you have a rule of 50%, if it's down 50%, you kill it. If it sets up again, you can retake it. That's not today. If you didn't do it, don't do it here. It looks like it is going to set up again, and I think it could set up again with the market. If you did the trading, you're playing it out, you're in it, and I got to tell you, it still looks good. So, you know, but again, you got to have rules. You got to have money management rules. There's nothing wrong with that chart. Frisco's in Cisco. Zen Trader, are you in Cisco that you asked me about it or you want to take it? When is Trump's speech today? We got to Google it because that could move the market in a positive direction. He's going to speak of that CPAC. Let's look it up. Totally forgot about that. Trump speech. Let's see what time it is. President uh, live stream. Is he talking now? Does anyone know? I can't find it here. What time, what channel? Let's look. Ten oh five a.m. Ten oh five a.m. Ten oh five a.m. So let's watch everything we're in it now. Yep, I just found it. That's what it says. I don't have the TV on, but that can move the market when he starts talking. If it does, I think it moves it in the direction we want. Maybe that's why the market's waiting. Um, okay, anyway, Cisco is fine. Cisco looks fine. It's come down in here, snug as a bug in a rug, um, which is fine. Again, if you didn't do it, can't do it till it sets up again, which it hasn't yet. But if you're in the trade, it looks fine. If you want to kill it when you're down 50%, then you kill it. But, you know, you, you got to know what you're doing before you take these trades. There's nothing wrong with Cisco. It just didn't go right away. But you look at the market here. I just explained that to you. I mean, and this is going to really go someday, some minute. It keeps sitting here at our price. If you've got to go, you just kill it, break even. <laughs> if you're waiting, I think it's worth the wait. Uh, what was the other one? EXPE? X turtle, did you do anything? Um, I think this looks fine too. In fact, this is holding extremely weak. It gapped up today and looks like it's gonna fall red. Again, if you want to hold this to the bigger move, you can hold it. It looks okay. For those of you that didn't get out of it, there's still there's nothing wrong with this chart at all. I don't see anything that's going to fail in the time that I give in the trades, short or long. Um, and I called a lot of them out far. The only one I said if you wanted to kill was this. But I think this fell then yesterday, didn't it? 
And the only reason I said that was because it gapped up in the news, but the chart is still really, really lower. But I called this out till June, so once again, you had so much time. But I did say, if you wanted to kill it, you could have killed it, and it'll reset up again, and it fell the last two days. So this is still lower, and you had months out. But this was still not a failure, even for the time that I've given the train. But you're down in the price in this one. The rest of them all are going to go at the same time the market does. You're still in the options? Where did No, I did not look at this. I did not look at this at all. Man, this, this had a huge move. No, I didn't. 45.37, it almost moved 10 points, that's crazy. A, a bunch of you did it. I did the other one, which still, still had a big move. Um, but this was amazing. Actually, it looks like it's set up in the afternoon, twice. Did anybody do a later trade in that? The mic? Actually, they both had secondary moves. Both the morning ones yesterday did. Here's what I'll say about the options for those of you that are in these and waiting for some of them to go, although I think some of you did get out of the XP and some of you did kill CMG. Um, and I think some of you got out of Walmart too soon, but it's fine. I think, I think the thing is that if you would do choose one choice of how to play those, I think it would be more consistent, which I've been, I've been saying. Um, Galahad never does that, which I think is a problematic. Some of you do that better than others. Dubois, usually you hold them. So I'm surprised you got out of Walmart because usually you pretty much hold almost everything. Um, so some of you are really good at holding for the bigger moves, but you're going to lose then when they don't work, when you don't kill them, when they're out 50%. Like if CMG does not drop down before June, which I still think it does, you will lose in it completely. But the ones that end up going and working huge, you will just have massive, you know, uh, profits. So I think the consistency is key with it. Trump started speaking at 10.05. Oh, you got out of CMG and EXP with profit due bars before they went? Or you're still in them? Oh, you still are in them. Okay, yeah. Yeah, usually you hold the trades. You can play around with it for one month, do it one way, and the second month, do another way. But don't do a different thing for every trade. Man, this is really going to go. Here, let's look at an option in this. Since we have time. And Trump speaking. So we'll have to watch the market. I don't know what these are going to cost or if it's going to make any sense. Uh, let's just look. Yeah, for an option, let's just wait. I think how far and fast it moves really has to do how to act here today. And it's 10.15, we're still in this trade, so yeah. Anyway, it's gonna, well, let's just talk, I'll have this chart up now, but talk about, talk about it. If the market wanted to drop, it would have done it. It would have done it, so it didn't do it. I mean, all of this could have fallen off a planet. It didn't do it. This was the turnaround day for the market here. Unusual, weird, strange, but you know, 
I don't think we break the low this far for a while before we make a new high anyways. So we've got to move over this area and we're kind of swinging around to do it a little bit today. Whether we make the move today or not, or we continue up and follow through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, one of these days I see a big move through this. This is would not be supported here without buying, <clears throat> but it's a strange look to it. I'll give you that because of the fact that it's, there's some red, the, the market's trading in a range right in here, actually for the last week. 15, 16, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 days. Trump is talking now. All right, so HP is going to wait for Trump to talk, plow over the high, and then we'll call it a week. Someone's asking the targets for the market. It depends if it starts to get going. I'd say today, well over 272, 273, 274, really, but the number is 275.85. I'm not saying we will get there today. I guess we could, but I don't think we're going to drop today. So that's one of the reasons I said you could go along the market today because I don't think we're going to sell off. So if we're not going to sell off, we're either going to trade in a range all day today, which would probably, you know, bore you to death, or we're going to plow over the high and rally today. The market is a good option trade for next week. Hey, Dave, how are you? Long time no hear from you. I think I cannot believe how many old class students I've heard from this year in 2018. I'm sure me being on Fox is something to do with it, but I'm glad I'm glad some of you are sticking around, reading the emails. Dave, have you been trading or not? Let's look at Amazon. Amazon, look at this again. You say, well, Melissa. It's, it's red, 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 red. I know, but it's inching up every day, getting ready to break out. I called an option in this. In fact, who's in it? Who's in it? Who killed it? Uh, you know, uh, this is inching up every day. Every day like a ladder. Dave, you got to get back to trading. Do you mean break 18 by go over it? Jasmine, or what are you talking about? I think it's going to go over it. Yeah. You could take like a bazillion shares here and put a really tight stop, but I, I don't feel like confident that would hold. But <laughs> the way that this has been uh, uh, flirting with that number makes you just want to take so much more, but you can't, you can't really give it any tighter of a stop without the possibility of it shaking you out, but it's tempting. Anyways, there's, there's, there's buying coming back in the market because we had this big, massive institutional buying day here, almost six points up, and it was out of nowhere in a very weird positioning. We've been holding all this time trading a range to break out. Whether it happens today, tomorrow, next week, it's going to happen. And then the market will just go. Uh, so I might have made the call early this week. We did rally on those minutes, but then we fell into the close. But, you know, I gave time for the trades. So, again, if you have the rule, kill it, or you retake it. I mean, you could have retaken it today. I said that in the room this morning. But if this works out, like today or Monday, it's going to be a huge trade, even if you took it Wednesday, even with the price, because 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 it's very unexpected, because it's a hard read. It's a hard read to see we would do this. People think the market's going to be choppy back and forth, back and forth, back and forth now for months. People think that's going to happen for months. I don't, I don't think that happens for months. It could, but I don't think so now after the way that we've looked in the last week. Yeah, we're, we're still in this thing. We're falling asleep. Long HPE, and we are falling asleep, waiting for it to go. And Trump's talking too. Trump's talking about his hair. Koala Bear's giving us an update. <laughs> I don't think that's going to move the market, but it might. <laughs> Does 
Does anyone have any questions about anything whatsoever? Since we're here and we have to wait. This is the the most wily thing <laughs> we've traded all week with the smallest moves. <laughs> it goes down a little, then it rallies back. It goes up a little, then it comes in. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> just go. Does anyone have any questions about anything? We're in HPE or you killed it. If you had to go at 10 o'clock, you could have killed a break even. You could kill it at almost break even here now. It's going to go back to that $18 number. For some reason, it's really just taking a long time. And it might be the size of the gap. The stock gapped up a lot overnight. I'll grant you that. And maybe that's why I needed time. I said we're probably not going to be aggressive today. And I wasn't. I wasn't aggressive in this. But I didn't give up on it. I did not like to stop in EXAS. I just couldn't press the button. Um, this looks fine. I did not think we'd be in it for almost an hour, but if you didn't even do it, you could still do it here. But I don't want to call an option until I see how it acts today because it's very difficult to ascertain where it could go in a certain time period until this gets its butt moving. I would like to see this go green today. Again, it already went green. I want to see green go green again. It's going green a couple of times. I want to hold green. I want to fly over 18, 19 and fly over 18 and not look back. And it hasn't done that yet. Bottom line is that I think that people short these things. So you have your caught in here. Traders short this gap today, thinking it's going to fill the gap. Why is that wrong? Because first of all, the gap rate's good as a bullish gap to go long, number one. Number two, why is it also a bad idea? But that's what we're fighting against. Know your enemy. We talked about this last week. You have day traders in here trying to short this stock. That's why it hasn't made the move yet, to try to push it down. But they're not controlling the stock or the gap. The bulls are. Buying's got to come in more buying, which I do believe happens. But you have people trying to short this, think it's going to fill the gap and fall down to 17, 1675, 1650. That's the wrong thing. And that will not happen today. It won't happen. It held the number I said 1750 and it held it right into the open, which is the only reason we're in it, by the way. But the fact is that it was a good long and we're just waiting. But you have enemy traders that are short this, which is a dumbass thing to do. They might have the stop over 1820 and 1819. They might have the stop at 1805 now. Who knows? But to me, this is very bullish. The gap rated well. OLD broke 130. Yeah, I believe it. Now that it got going. 125. That's not even insane. Look at the bar from two days ago. This is a $10 bar and it didn't have earnings. 125. I don't feel like I missed this because this isn't what I do. And I didn't like this setup. I rated the gap. It had a couple different entries in here. What was the stop on this? Let's just look. I wouldn't have done it here. I wouldn't have done it here. I might have done it here. Probably would have given it a buck fifty, but it certainly would have paid. Koala bear, are you in OLED? Is anyone still in that? I know some of you did it. Here, HPE over 18 again. Gypsy thinks that HP is waiting for Trump to be done talking, but he could talk for an hour. So that's the problem there. Gypsy, you're in OLED. Oh, are you doing both this and that? Are you long HP and in OLED? Huh, some of you are very active today. Let's see what we have out next week to get excited. Ah, uh, here we go. HPEE. -E. Next week we have here it goes that little stinker. Uh, February twenty six is Monday. Here we 
Here goes HP. Um, let's look at, here, if, if I'm distracted, maybe it'll just go. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> nothing that I can speak of necessarily that I'm in love with from Monday morning, but there is stuff Monday morning. Um, I remember Monday morning, we're doing, I have the class this week, and Monday morning we're doing live trading. So we will review gap ratings in the class on Monday morning, which we don't, we don't usually do because I don't have time, but I'm going to make time Monday morning. So whether we have something to trade or not, we're going to rank gaps of practice ones, and that will be good for people. Oh, DF is Monday morning. That may actually be decent. Uh, let's look at that chart. Although, again, it hasn't gapped yet, so don't do anything in it until it does, but let's look at it. DF. Again, this is Monday morning earnings. So we're going to rate stuff Monday morning for the regular room people, the people that are new, they're going to be in the class this weekend. That'll be good, but I think it's been good for old people. Uh, DF. I don't know what this does. Well, it's this, this usually has volume, so we might be doing this. I don't know where it's going to gap, and I don't know what it's going to rate, but it's a watch. Um, Jasmine, what's my share size usually? I don't have a usual. I don't have a set amount because you don't know. Like for example, EXAS today, I never thought that it would be a dollar plus stop. So you really, you have to have an amount in your uh, level two that you can click it more than once rather than oversize yourself. Because for example, and there's many, many trades, so I'll take three, four, five thousand 5,000 shares in. But if you had pressed the button today in EXAS with 3,000 shares, you would have been risking three grand. I would not have done that on that gap today. I'm not saying I would never do that in any gap, but I can't think of the last trade that I risked three grand in. That's not my risk unit. And I no way would thought that would be that size. I mean, I guess I could have adjusted accordingly quick enough with my share size, but I just, I just didn't feel like doing it. It worked. So you need to have a set amount in your jiggy that you can probably press more than once if you get a smaller stop, um, but you cannot use the same quantity. So I don't have a set amount. It depends on the trade. Your risk has got to be close to it. I'm not that picky about it because I've been doing this so long, but I mean, some trades I'll risk, you know, 1200 bucks, some I'll risk 1600 bucks, some I'll risk 1800 bucks, but I'm not, I'm not risking $3,000. <laughs> On a, on, a, on a day trade, not in a gap like this. In fact, I'm trying, trying to think the last gap that I was so in love with, Walmart. Walmart, really, I could have risked more. We stopped in the first trade. The second one was a great one, you know, but this, I felt very confident in Walmart. So if I would have risked three grand in something this week, it would have been Walmart. So if I didn't risk it in that, I wasn't gonna do it on the EXAS today. And usually if I would do something like that, I'd want to see the follow through knowing that I wouldn't have to jump right out of it. Because literally, to make the money in this today, you almost had to jump right out of it. It backed up quick. Now you would have still been up, but it really went back up to almost break even and then through it, you would have been down. So if I'm going to take a bigger risk in something, which I did not this week really in anything at all, um, here, this is going to go, then you really should know that it's gonna have followed through pretty much all day so that you don't have to jump and get out of something so fast with so much quantity of size. It's not that you couldn't, but the, the you know, I would only do it in gaps that are really, really good that you feel like you're gonna have a high level of control to have choose your exit uh, to piecemeal out for the majority of the morning or the majority of the day. I can't think of anything besides Walmart, but Walmart is a good example of the last one that was like that. <coughs> you have to decide your own risk and you have to adjust your share size accordingly. And this is still, I really hope this doesn't take until Trump's done talking because he will talk for like an hour. And I tell you, this market, I can't, I can't tell you enough how much we're going to blow when we do. I, I just can't tell you the exact day. 
And I obviously thought we'd do it this week or I wouldn't have called some of those trades. But I think you've got time in all of them. I'll look at the dates for the shorter ones. I think Amazon was the only short one. But, I mean, this looks amazing. So, really, I mean, honestly, it will be very unexpected when the move happens in the market when it does. Very unexpected, but it's going to happen. People are looking at this and it's making lower highs and lower lows. That's not how I read charts and it's not how I make decisions in trades and we don't look at that at all. I rate the gap and I'm telling you, I'm looking at the buying, I'm looking at the selling and you don't have any more selling in here or the market would have dropped and you have people buying it or wouldn't be supported in this way in a tight, 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 tight range. Market is gonna break out higher any day, any time and the sooner it does uh, is good for the trades but the longer it takes, the bigger the move it's gonna have when it does it and the speedier the move it's gonna have. If we trade in a range for two more weeks, the market will make a massive move over the high when it does. If we, if we make a move next week, all those trades are going to work. And I don't know if it'll go right up and go over the high, but the likelihood is that it will still go over the high or retest it once it gets over 2.5 because it's too close, too close not to do that, which is 2.76. And the previous high was 10 points away. You know, it's not small, but it's also not big. What am I doing here? We're falling asleep. EXPE, if EXPE is next Friday, I forgot which, which date I called on this one. I don't know if we're going to make it. The only way that will flip around is if it gaps down or falls and trades down lower, which isn't going to happen today. The, this was the first exit down in here. I know some of you did get out. I still think this looks fine, but it's got to fall. It's got to fall in the next couple of days. It can't go over this number and it's got to fall in the next couple of days. So for those of you that are in this, I, I forgot it was the first week of March. Then this one and Amazon are the only ones out for next Friday. I don't know them for this. I think all the rest of them I called out. EXPE is 329. Here, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up then because now you're confusing me. I thought I gave plenty of time in all of those because EXPE really looks lower. Let me look it up. Sometimes when I call these, I know some of you are doing different dates and that's okay you don't want to pay out farther but I've been trying to get more time here even though sometimes it costs more um, EXPE three twenty nine EXPE is three twenty nine all right let me check the market one I can't believe how long this trade here has taken in HPE though. Okay, SPY one is next week. I think it makes it. I, th I think it makes it, so I don't know. I mean, what are you people doing? I, th I, I mean, I thought we would do it today. I still think we might. The day is not over. So again, what's your money management rules? If, you, if you're playing the trade out, you follow it through into next week. If you're down in it, want to kill it, then kill it. I'm giving you scenarios of how the price action is going to act once it goes over the number. I don't know the exact date that's going to be, but I'm telling you, if you lose in this trade, I will call it again. If it takes four weeks for this to go again and goes past the expiration date next Friday, I will call it again. And it will have a big move whenever that is, so don't worry about it. You still should have the same money management rules for every trade you take. If you're down half, kill it. Retake it when it resets up. It did reset up today. That's a good sign. But if you killed it, you could have retaken it. If you're still with the trade, it reset up today, so that's not a bad sign. If you're going to hold every trade out to a big move and give every trade a chance that looks good unless they fail, which none of these have failed. Even CMG didn't fail, but I didn't expect the news to happen on that. But even that trade has not failed. The chart has not failed in that. Then you're going to hold them to bigger moves to get paid. 
Similar concept though, your risk should be the same in all the trades. A thousand bucks, fifteen hundred dollars, two grand, whatever you're risking in these, five hundred dollars, whatever your risk is. It should be the same for all of them. So I think the only one next week then is is the market. I gave time for all of them and they all still look fine. So the only one is then the market. Let's look at this, Netflix. I think a lot of it has to do with your personality. Um, yeah, this isn't doing anything here yet. Your, again, your personality, like my personality is an impatient person. That's one of the reasons I like to do quick day trades in and out. Today we're in this for an hour. I'm starting to get impatient. I'm not, I haven't killed this yet, but if it goes back to 18, I could kill it, break even, and call it a day. I'm getting impatient. It's 10.36. I have things to do. I'm in this trade for an hour to make probably 25 cents. I, you know, I don't know if it's worth it anymore. I have an impatient personality. If you are like that too, you might want to do the quick trades, even for the options trades as well. And if they don't work the, the day of or the next day, then get out. If you really have an impatient personality and you can't stand holding them and waiting, waiting for the bigger move or waiting for them to go, if you take them and they're down before they move up or move down, depending if it's a put or a call, then, then kill the trades. I mean, if you're an impatient person, then get out quick. If you can't stand being down $5, which I know Galahad can, then just kill the trade. You've got to know yourself and it's not worth losing money or, you know, and losing sleep overnight when you're down in a trade. Um, and even Amazon right now is down from where I called it Wednesday. But I'm telling you, that's probably going to have a huge move. The new one that I called and that, I think that's out actually. That's, there's two out next Friday, that and the other one. But the strike was so close in that it's already got, it actually went, it already went over it. It already went over it. What about a computer trade, Jasmine? There's computers trading all the stocks. Here goes the market. It's only 1038. It's only 1038. Here's what I said to the TV people this morning. Because I got up this morning and saw the gap, and I said, holy crap, I can't believe this is so hilarious because this, this was a Melissa crazy call to even call it Wednesday, still say it was good yesterday, and then to get up this morning. Here's what I said. I'm going to find the email. Because I fully expected if the market does this today, someone's going to call me to be on TV today or tomorrow, and I have the class, and I, and I, and I have the class tomorrow, so... You know, but I, I, I pretty much emailed them this morning, 7.13, I said this. Hi, remember when I was talking about follow through on Neil's show the other week? We're setting up this morning the gap to do it today, which will most likely result in people going nuts about this. <laughs> so they said, because the numbers I have uh, below are big rally from where we are this morning. However, totally doable with a big rally in one day. Numbers to watch for follow through the buying for the market higher. Rally over. 255.02 in the DIA or the Dow is 25,502. SPY is 275.85. I sent that email this morning at 7.13. So we're still, we're still sitting here. But, I mean, what I said is still accurate. Computers are making the penny spread on HPE, that's all. No real value in it or volume in it. I think there's volume. What do you mean there's no volume? Look at the volume. I think you have traders that are trying to push it down, but they're not going to win. I think buyers are going to come in and step into HPE. Oh, let's go back to it. We didn't talk about it here. We kind of got distracted. Let's stay on this chart. If this doesn't go soon, then I'm going to kill it and just get out, break even. But this thing here, what are you seeing? The room in the stock is where? It got bought up in the gap. It's taking its time. It was a big gap up. I don't have a problem with that, but look at the chart. What's the trend in HPE? Write it in the room. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Is this in an uptrend, a downtrend, a sideways trend? HPE, go. Anybody, what, what's the trend in HPE right now, today, after this gap, after the earnings? Up, down, neutral. Jasmine said up. Gypsy said up. Anybody else? The answer is up. It's up now. The trend in this now has changed, and it changed overnight in the gap. And that's one of the reasons this was the best gap today and very powerful. The stock was in a downtrend. 
Then it was in a downtrend, then it was in a downtrend, then it slightly went neutral, and then it went up, which is typically how that happens when you go from down to up, which is rare, but it does happen that way, and it can take time. The most likely move for this was up. We would have done this probably either way. If this had gapped down today, this morning, it would have fallen off a planet, and probably faster than this move is happening. But again, it was big gap up, and you have traders trying to short it. But anyways, this really is higher now after the day. It wasn't yesterday, and it wasn't even in the rally in here in the last two months. But now it is after today. The stock will move higher, which is why I'm probably going to call an option in it. But I don't know the strike or the expiration date until after I see how we act once we get going, which we have tried to start to get going, but we really haven't gotten going. And I want to see the follow through in this, but I am losing patience here. Um, but it really does look fine. So anyways, this is bullish starting today. It was not in an uptrend prior to today. So that's the power in this thing here today and why it was the best gap. Something called a corrective gap, which I teach in the trends class, but it's very powerful. And we don't, we don't, we don't do these that often. We don't get them that often. Here it goes. Um, but if you're willing to follow this through all day, if the market does go today, this could go to 19, I won't be in it because I'm not sitting here all day. And we're going to get out of this here soon. Don't pay attention. 10.42. I don't do cups and handles or shoulders or any of that stuff, Jasmine. Trump done talking, Koala Bear, or is he still talking? Should he get out of what? If you're long in HPE, it looks fine. If you're shorted, I wouldn't be shorted. I'm confused what you're asking me. This is a long. If you're in it and have time to wait around, wait around. I'm trying to decide what to do here because it's taking all day. <sighs> if you're in it long and you can sit and wait around, it's fine. I keep thinking it's just going to go and then it doesn't. He's still talking. Okay. Is anyone along the market? I forget even where I gave these numbers this morning for the support, but where did it go? 26. I forget what I even gave this morning. It's, you know. Here, let's look at the cost of those SPY options. And somebody asked me about something. Chris, you asked me about the options. What was your question about them today? Let's look at what those SPYs are now. I did call it out for next week. Let's see what they are. Now oh, they're dirt cheap now, that's for sure. Let's look at them. Who's in this? Who's in the spy option? Write it in the room if you're in it. Write it in the room if you took it and you killed it. Zen Trader, did you kill it or you stayed with it? Where are we at here? Today is... So it initially was up, I see this here now, in the move, and then it dropped and broke. Is, is anyone still in this or not? They're dirt cheap now. Gypsy's in it, Green Maverick's in it. Galahad, did you take the spy trade and kill it, or you didn't do it? Barry, did you do it or not? It's pennies now. The 275 calls in this are worth pennies. 10, 11 cents, 13 cents. Uh, honestly, it's a good call. 
Uh, you know, and, and whether you want to do this or not, if you're still in it, you can get a little more and cost average your price down. But, you know, that's up to you. You'd be taking more risk. It's the same trade. Or you just let it ride out and take it out for longer. Um, but there was something I saw last night. Or was it this morning? Here I clipped it. Galahad, you're in this buy option? I'm shocked because you've been as quiet as a mouse today. I saw an invisible tick in the market. I think it was either last night after hours or it was yesterday afternoon. I saw an invisible tick and it was up. And I'm not saying that that was any of the reason I made any of the calls because I made the calls Wednesday, but it gave me conviction. It gave me conviction the market was going to get up today. And so then I wasn't surprised. It was sometime either last night or yesterday, I forget, because yesterday was like a blur because I was up so many hours. This is taking forever. Look, even if we had put, <laughs> look, even if we had put the stop at our at our break-even point, we would have been stopped out. <laughs> and just in this one five minute bar, can you believe that? Because this really hasn't gone and held over the number yet. Tail, 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 tail. So you have people trying to short it, but all these tails are actually buying. This is buying. This is buying. This is buying. This is buying. Jasmine said they're computers. Maybe, but we trace computers with stuff all the time, but these are little tails. I want to see a solid green fat one. We set up on the 30 minute. That also is a good sign. I don't know here. I've got to return some emails and I was up early this morning so I'm going to have lunch in the next hour. I don't know people. If I leave you on your own with this, you're going to be okay. I, I, I mean, I think I might just try to do some other stuff here and watch it because I don't, I don't really want to kill it. I really don't want to kill it. I really like it. I think I can make money in this today. I'm up in it right now, but I want it to keep going more. Um, but I really don't have anything else to talk about for the next hour. Does anybody have any questions about anything? I think everybody knows what to do about the market. We went over all the options that people had questions about. Um, yeah, if you're here for the open house, then today's the last day. That's true. And if you want to sign up for the class, email me. I have to return some emails, which I can do, like I said, you know, while I'm watching this. If you're, if you're in this trade, uh, and, and I'm going to leave you guys go, here, you just monitor it on your own. Let's go over it. Here's the stop. Here's the target. And I'm gonna give you every baby one. And literally, I'm giving you every baby one because the way this is active. There's the targets, there's the stop. If you wanted to do more, you had a million chances to take more, which I did once, but you know, I didn't 50 times, but it's literally kept dropping, got bought, dropped, got bought, dropped, got bought, dropped, got bought. But the problem is I really don't think we should move the stop up and never really set up to move it up higher than where we have it just to be safe. Um, so I just did the ones I did. Uh, Jasmine is asking, is there any way you could do monthly payments for the class? No, because you get all the information right away, Jasmine. You get, you learn the class in a, the whole weekend. So, but if you sign up today, you get a month free in the room and a month of the option letter, which is very helpful. This week is a good example of that. If you took all the calls this week, you made money, you're up. Um... I think I'm going to leave you guys go so I can check some emails and then have lunch. I, I think this is fine. So, I mean, if you really got to go, you can kill it right here and not lose. If you want to wait and hold out the trade, I think it looks great. I had no idea when we did this, we'd be in it all morning. I really probably wouldn't have done it if I thought that. This was the fast, fast, quick move. It's just that I didn't do it. And I would have had to get out immediately, and I don't even know if I would have hit out of it that quick. So some of you made out on this, some of you didn't. Um, this one was the big massive short, which still has potential for the rest of the day. 
I'd be very, very careful though of shorting anything if the market does flip and go green, which we are trying to do. We're trying to go green here. We're little babies in here, but we haven't gone green yet. And we're trying. This is going to be a big trade if the option trade works out. These costs of these today were like, a, you know, next to nothing. And if you did them the other day and paid up for them, you could buy more. If you want to wait till later today, if you want to wait till Monday, you can wait. But you could buy more and pull your price back down. You could wait till we start rallying. Thank you for a wonderful week. You're welcome. Everyone should be up. Everyone should have had a good week. Everyone should be happy and fat. As far as next week, I don't know what we get, but Monday will be a good day in the room for the reviews. Stay with this trade if you want. Kill it if you want. I'm going to try to stay with it as long as I can, but, I, you know, I am an impatient person, but, you know, it, it really, this number, it doesn't seem to want to break it, so I think it plows higher, but if you got to go to work or you got to go do something, you could kill it right here. You want to hold it? Market looks good. Market will help this. I'd watch for 11 o'clock and noon. So this is either going to go right now in the next nine minutes or probably not till noon. And watch for noon for the market to go green. Noon for the market. Here, we're going green right now. Is Trump done talking or is he talking still? Koala bear. I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to put Fox on. Oh, I'm going to watch my trade and put the put the box on have a good weekend you're welcome all right have a good day everyone if you're interested in the class email me I'm here and we'll see where the market goes okie doke